I received your message D and I'm now convinced more than ever before that this blog video blog whatever 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 was never intended not ever intended to be only about weight loss or only about me for that matter it's just right now I'm just so I don't know God is just so good anyway our pastor said one of the things that we're all committed to do is to find our place to figure out where we should be working in the kingdom now I'm not getting ready to get out church and I said I don't know why I keep saying that because it's not like I'm embarrassed with it or anything I I just believe that our character doesn't have to be so godly high that we are of no earthly good so I don't really walk around all the time talking only about you know churchy stuff and this that and the other thing because I realize that we're whole we're complete entities we have you know what I'm not even going to try to keep explaining that because it's changing anyway in me maybe maybe it's supposed to so I'm not going to make excuses for it. okay I'm just going to be I'm just going to be take me as I am and I'm a big old crybaby just in case y'all didn't figure that out yet when I start thinking about God I just get full I guess is the only word so that being said you shared with me that a very young friend of who has a very young child has been diagnosed with a very serious disease and her spirits are probably very very low her faith may even be very very low and the fact that she went through this recently with her mother who passed on may be contributing to her opinions on how this thing is going to play out for her. But let me say this. God is not a man that he should lie. And he said in his word that by faith you are healed. And from every English class that I have ever taken, the word R is in the past tense. It's already happened. Now, that being said, the journey before her is not a physical battle. It's not going to be about her health because if she's a believer, she's already healed. The journey is not going to be about her health. The journey is going to be about her faith. <laughs> her faith. You're going to have to be her faith when she's losing her faith. I don't know how to explain that. Because I know that we all have to have faith for ourselves. Let me see if I can understand how to explain it. Or even I, if I can understand it. There was a man that went to Christ. To find help for his son. And he said. Lord I believe. Help thou my unbelief. To sound like a contradictory statement <laughs> but I know firsthand that you can be full of faith and have a lack of faith at exactly 
the same time. I know God is real, and I know He hears me, and I know He loves me, and I know He answers my prayers. But there's been a couple of prayers that I've had that, where the scripture says, stand in faith without wavering. Woo! You'd have thought I was on a tightrope with one of them sticks as much wavering as I was doing you know and it wasn't because I, every time every time it wasn't because every time I didn't believe in God sometimes I didn't believe in me like let me see how I can explain that it wasn't that I didn't believe God would do it there were things that I just didn't believe that God would do for me and doubt is doubt so, I needed other people to remind me that I was walking on water. I don't know why that continues to be applicable in so many situations. Okay. So, that being said, let me make some distinctions between her, her battle and the battle that her mother went through just two years ago. Her mother's battle two years ago is completely different than her battle right now. Her mother had a 37 year old child who was fully capable at that time of taking care of themselves. Yes, everybody need their mama until whenever. You don't never want to lose your mama. But God had already prepared for that. Your friend is 37 nine now but her child is only two her situation is not the same and I don't want anybody to think that that means that younger people are not going to have the same outcomes that's not I'm not this is not a general statement this is specifically for D and D's friend I don't have I don't know what God is saying to somebody else I'm only responding to what D and D's friend is going through with this condition. God is just trying to strengthen her faith. And you see, just like Job, oh God, I did not mean this to be churchy church. <sighs> but the very thing that God is bragging on you for the very thing that God wants to brag about in your friend is the very thing that Satan is saying in his very limited amount of information is it, it is that will break her now. God has already said to Satan, look at her. She's upright. She loves me. And she hates evil. And Satan said, just like he said about Job, he said, yeah. But I bet if she get that same thing that her mama had, she going to fall and she's not going to stand. And I'm telling you now, she has to stand because God would not allow her to be tempted above that which she is able to stand. So I'm going to stop because I'm at nine minutes. And I'm going to come back 